In this video we're going to look at differentiation with gradients, tangents and normals. Once again there are exam questions in this video's description that you can try afterwards. In the previous video we learnt how to calculate dy by dx which was the gradient function. Let's draw a graph that has the equation y equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2x plus 5. We can calculate the gradient function by using the power rule. So dy by dx equals, we do 3 times 1 which is 3 and then reduce the power of x by 1, so x squared, and then we do 2 times negative 4, which is negative 8, and reduce the power of x squared down to x to the 1, which is just x. The negative 2x will drop that x to give negative 2, and the constant term differentiates to give 0, so that's gone. So we found dy by dx, which is the gradient function. Now what this allows us to do is work out the gradient at any point on this curve. So let's look at the point where x equals negative 1, which is this point here on the curve. To find the gradient at that point, all you do is substitute negative 1 into this expression. So we'd say at x equals negative 1, dy by dx equals, and then just substitute in negative 1. So 3 lots of negative 1 squared, take away 8 lots of negative 1, take away 2. Negative 1 squared is 1, so times up by 3 gives you 3. Negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8. And then if we simplify this, 3 add 8, take 2, gives you 9. So the gradient of the curve at this point, and also the gradient of the tangent to the curve at this point, is equal to 9. Now we can try this with another point, let's do x equals 2, so this point here. Again all we do is just substitute x equals 2 in, so dy by dx equals 3 lots of 2 squared, take away 8 lots of 2, take away 2. 2 squared is 4, and times that by 3 gives you 12. Negative 8 times 2 is negative 16 and 12 take 16, take away 2, is going to give you negative 6. So the gradient at this point, and also the gradient of the tangent to the curve at this point, is equal to negative 6. Now let's try some questions. So imagine we had this graph, and for part A we're asked to find the gradient at the point where x equals negative 2. So what we need to do is find the gradient function dy by dx. So if we differentiate x cubed we get 3x squared, Differentiating 2x squared gives you plus 4x, and differentiating negative x gives you negative 1, and differentiating 2 gives you 0. We're asked to find the gradient at the point where x equals negative 2, so we just substitute that into our gradient function. So at x equals negative 2, dy by dx would equal 3 lots of negative 2 squared, plus 4 lots of negative 2, take away 1. 3 lots of negative 2 squared gives you 12. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then if we simplify this, 12 take 8, take 1, gives you 3. So the gradient at the point where x equals negative 2 is 3. Now for part b, it's a little bit more complicated. We're asked to find the x-coordinate of the point where the gradient is 3. So sort of the reverse, we've been given the gradient and we need to find out which coordinates that corresponds to. So again, we're going to differentiate. So dy by dx equals 3x squared plus 4x take away 1. But we've been challenged to find where the gradient is equal to 3. So we need the gradient function to equal 3. So we'll do 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 3. This just gives us an equation to solve. So take 3 from both sides and you'll get 3x squared plus 4x take 4 equals 0. And fortunately this quadratic factorises. It's 3x take away 2 and x plus 2 equals 0. This gives two solutions. The first bracket will give us x equals 2 thirds and the second bracket x equals negative 2. So notice there were actually two points on this curve where the gradient is equal to 3, and they have x-coordinates 2 thirds and negative 2. We don't need to find the y-coordinates because we've not been asked to do so in the question. Now let's take a different graph, and for this one we're going to work out the equation of the tangent to the graph where x equals 3. To work out an equation of a tangent you need two things. You need the gradient of the tangent and then a point that's on that line. So let's start with the gradient. Let's find dy by dx. So x squared differentiates to give 2x. It's probably easier to write this 9 over x as 9x to the negative 1. And then we can differentiate that to give negative 9x to the negative 2, which we will write back again in fraction form. So negative 9 over x squared. And when you differentiate negative 3, that goes to 0, so we're done. Now we need to find the equation of the tangent where x equals 3. So we'll find the gradient where x equals 3 by substituting that into the gradient function. So at x equals 3, dy by dx equals 2 lots of 3, take away 9 over 3 squared. 
two lots of three is six. Three squared, of course, is nine. So we've got nine over nine, which is just one. So six take one, which gives you five. So we know the gradient of the tangent at this point is five. The tangent is a straight line, so we could write it in the general form y equals mx plus c. Only we've just found the gradient, so we can replace m with five. What we now need to do is find a point on the line. We don't have one yet, but we do know one point that's on the line when the x coordinate is three. We just need the y coordinate to go with it. To find that y coordinate, we'll substitute x equals three back into the original equation. So let's do three squared plus nine over three, take away three. 3 squared is 9, 9 over 3 is 3, and then take away 3, just gives you 9. So when x equals 3, y equals 9. So one of the points on the line is 3, 9. We can now substitute this point into our equation of the line, so replace y with 9 and x with 3. So 9 equals 5 lots of 3 plus c. Of course 5 threes is 15, so 9 equals 15 plus c gives you a c value of negative 6. So now we can write the equation of the line, y equals 5x, because we calculated the gradient as 5, take away 6, which was the c value we found. It's useful to look at a graphical interpretation of what we've just done. This graph looks something like this. So at the point when x equals 3, we were tasked with finding the equation of this tangent. To do so, we found the gradient of that tangent using the gradient function, and then we substituted the point x equals 3 back into the equation, to get the y coordinate here which was 9. We put all of that together and we ended up with the equation y equals 5x take away 6. Now there's one word in the title of this video we haven't covered yet, and that's the word normal. A normal is a straight line that is perpendicular to the tangent. So if we just take a curve like this, and we draw a tangent at this point here, then the normal is a line that goes perpendicular to this, like this one here. Since it's perpendicular, there must be a 90 degree angle in here. And we know that if lines are perpendicular to each other, their gradients must be negative reciprocals. So the gradient of a normal is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. For example, if this tangent here had gradient 3 quarters, then the normal would have gradient negative 4 over 3. We just see the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. Let's try this in a question. So we've got this graph here and we want to work out the equation of the normal this time. We'll start in the same way as we did with the tangent, so we'll work out dy by dx. 2x to the 4 differentiates to give 8x cubed. Negative 3x squared differentiates to give negative 6x, and the negative 1 will differentiate to give 0. Now the normal this time is at the point where x equals 1, so we'll substitute x equals 1 in. So at x equals 1, dy by dx equals 8 lots of 1 cubed take away 6 lots of 1. 8 lots of 1 cubed is 8, and 6 lots of 1 is 6, so 8 takes 6 gives you 2. Now it's important that this is the gradient of the tangent, not the normal. So when we come to write our general equation of the line, y equals mx plus c, we need to do the negative reciprocal. So the gradient of the tangent at that point is 2, so the gradient of the normal will be negative 1 half. Once again we need a coordinate of a point on that line. We know the point where x equals 1 is on that line, but we need the y coordinate for that, so we'll substitute it into the equation again. So y equals 2 lots of 1 to the power 4, take away 3 lots of 1 squared, take away 1. 2 lots of 1 to the 4 is 2, negative 3 times 1 squared is negative 3, and then take away 1, and 2 take 3 take 1 gives you negative 2. So a point that's on the line has coordinates 1, negative 2. We can now substitute this into the equation of the line, so we've got negative 2 equals negative a half times 1 plus c. Negative a half times 1 is just negative a half, and then if you rearrange this you'll get c equals negative 3 over 2, or negative 1 and a half. So we found the equation of the normal, it's y equals negative a half x take away 3 over 2. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Remember there are some exam questions you can try in the video's description. Check out what I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.